My portfolio this week is valued at $105,000 and today I'm going to break that down by covering all my different account values like my TFSA and RRSP and we'll also break down any potential dividends I've received as well as any buys, sells, or deposits I've made over the last week. Welcome back everyone to another weekly portfolio update video. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. If this is your first time here, my name is Kevin at Fintrack Freedom. I'm a 25 year old long-term investor and this is my Canadian personal finance channel where my ultimate goal is to one day retire early off of my investments. This week, my entire portfolio is valued at $105,074.45. And of that $105,000, I have $89,334.67 on my Wealth Simple trade. And the remainder is in my Wealth Simple Cash account, earning me 5% interest. And in this account, I have $16,076.40. This last week, I had a few deposits, starting with a $500 deposit from my checking account into my new FHSA account, and then another $1,100 from my checking account into my Wealth Simple Cash account, and then just uh, lastly here, a $50 deposit from my checking to my non-registered account because I needed like another $50 to <laughs> make my total deposits in my checking account a flat, rounded thousand. <laughs> I'll explain that later in the video, but it was just to... Uh, it was just to appease my OCD tendencies. As for the dividends this week, I received $35.86 worth. And that's kind of nothing compared to what we got last week. Last week was my the most flat out the most amount of dividends I've received in a week, which was $133.15. As a quick reminder, I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of this year. So to help me reach my goal, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you enjoy my content. Also, for that YouTube algorithm, be sure to hit the like button down below and let's try and break 50 likes on this video. Jumping into the TFSA for the week, it's currently sitting at $33,671.35 and it was down 1% on the week and checking out the last month performance, it's down 4% and on the 3 month it is down 9%. I had quite a few transactions in the TFSA this week, so this will be broken down into two slides this week. So starting out, I had all my reoccurring buys. So my $60 buy of VFV, $25 buy of VDY, $15 of VCE and VIU, $10 of V. And then at the very bottom there, or second up from the bottom, there is a $18.47 .18 drip from VFV. That was a dividend I received last week, but it did not go through. Um, so that purchase went through this week. And then I also had a $9.88 uh, dividend from VDY, which was automatically reinvested this week. And then checking out the next slide here, I had a $5.50 uh, dividend from VCE, which was automatically reinvested. And then lastly, a $3.09 dividend from VIU, which again was automatically reinvested for us. If you're interested in using Wealthsimple, you can sign up using my link in the description or using the code on screen for your chance to receive between $5 all the way up to $3,000 when you open and fund your Wealthsimple account. Again, link in the description or the code on screen. Checking out the FHSA, which I opened in last week's portfolio update video, it's sitting at $1,000.63 and on the week we are down about $4. And then in the FHSA account, I just had a $500 buy of XEQT. And if you did not know, I'm going to be doing $500 into XEQT until this account is maxed. All right, now my RRSP is sitting at $27,566.28. And just like my TFSA, this account is down 1% on the week. It is down 3% on the one month. And it is down 4% on the three month. Again, just like my TFSA, I had a lot of movement in the RRSP this week, so this will be broken up into two slides again. Um, starting out, I had my two reoccurring buys of VOO and SCHD, so $70 into VOO and $80 into SCHD. And then I had um, a, a reoccurring drip from VOO worth $0.77. Cents. That was a new dividend I received this week. And then the $20.32 drip from VFV, was a dividend I received last week, but didn't get reinvested until this week. I know it sounds complicated, but don't worry. Um, and then I also had a $2.26 dividend, $2.26 dividend from VDY, which, which was automatically reinvested, a $3.29 dividend from VCE, which was reinvested, a $1.87 dividend from VIU, which again 
was automatically reinvested. And then popping over to the next slide here, I did sell all my VFE in my RRSP and I swapped it all over to VOO um, because uh, I won't have to pay withholding tax on dividends anymore. Let me rephrase that. I won't have to pay withholding tax on my VFE dividends anymore since it's now in VOO and in RRSPs, you don't have to pay withholding tax on dividends, on US dividends. All right, now the last stock account, the non-registered account is at $13,896.07 this week and we are up just about $30 on the week and checking out the last month, we're still down 2% and we're down 2% on the three month. And then in this account this week, I just had a small little buy of VDY. I had some leftover cash in this account, so I just bought some VDY. And then I had a $34.04 uh, drip of VFE. This was the dividend I received last week again, so that was automatically reinvested for us this week. And then I had a $4.23 dividend from VDY, a $3.66 dividend from VCE, and a $2.00. Uh, an eight cent dividend from VIU, all of which were automatically reinvested. My very last Wealth Simple Trade account, the crypto account, is at thirteen thousand one hundred and eighty nine dollars and six cents. And this account got hit a little bit this week. We're down five percent on the week, and on the month we're up one percent, and on the three month we are down a big eleven percent. I just had all of my reoccurring buys in the crypto account this week yet again. So a $40 buy of Bitcoin, $30 buy of Ethereum, and a $10 buy of Polygonmatic, Chainlink, and Polkadot. Jumping over to the portfolio tracking spreadsheet again, my total portfolio value is at $105,071.75. And the total yield for my portfolio is sitting at 1.55% and or $1,428.38 annually. If you're interested in looking at any of the holdings within my accounts, you, you can go ahead and pause the video at any point here as I'm scrolling down, and I'll also pop over to my cryptocurrency here, so you can also pause. With the new dividends I've received this week, it's brought my October total up in my TFSA to $36.94, and then my total in the RRSP for October is at $28.51. The total in the non-registered is at $44.02. And then, of course, the interest I earned in my Wealth Simple Cash account was $59.54. I just added all these dividends up for October, and it's actually at about $168-ish, which is pretty good for me for a month, considering I'm more focused on growth stocks rather than dividends. All right, so I'm going to wrap that video up there. I don't think there's much more I want to cover, and I'm actually feeling a bit under under the weather right now. Um, so I'm sorry if the energy levels were low in this video. But other than that, thank you all very much for watching. I do appreciate it if you've made it this far. Be sure to subscribe and help me reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. We only need about 290-ish more. And also hit that bell icon, and also hit that like button. Let's see if we can get 50 likes. And uh, yeah. Thank you all again, and I will see you next time.